Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and uh, today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to talk about Satine Phoenix. We're going to talk about Post Malone's Tattoo Guy, and we're going to talk about a huge Dungeons and Dragons, Satine Phoenix, tattoo controversy that exploded onto the Dungeons, Dungeons, that exploded onto the Dungeons and Dragons scene and got a lot of time and attention on YouTube and on Twitter and uh, was highly discussed across the industry. Um, and we're going to talk about it today. Uh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a summary of what happened, uh, to the best of my knowledge. And then I'm going to give you my opinion on why this very much mattered. Cause there was a question of, Hey, is this even relevant? Should we be talking about this? Right. And the answer is yes. Like this is very important in the, this is an important hit, uh, event in the history of Dungeons and Dragons. And this is a, this is a, a huge opportunity to uh, shine the light on some massive ignorance in the in the Dungeons and Dragons community on what Dungeons and Dragons is and and where it's headed and what it means in relation to American celebrity. All right, let's jump into this. All right, so what happened? Okay, so this is the facts to the best of my knowledge. By the way, this is covered on Dungeon on on YouTube by no less than the following uh, cr uh, creators. Myself, you about to hear my take on it. Uh, OGGM covered this, right? Um, and actually, he said that this was not relevant and not important, which I'm kind of like, well, why did you even take the time to say that, right? Which is kind of odd. But I will say this. I really appreciated OGGM's coverage of it because he did it in a timely manner, right? I had to wait another day or two because this was complicated and there were people's careers attached to this. And I, I wanted to make sure I had my facts straight before I proceeded to speak on it. And, uh, and I just, I just wanted to give this a little more time to bake because I was like, Ooh, there's a lot here. Right. And so, so I did, you know, I just kind of watched it and now I'm, I'm at the point where I, you know, I'm seeing, you know, what's happening with, with this. Right. And I, I feel like I have something unique to say all right, about it. That's another thing is it like, if you're just like, Hey, this is a non-story. Don't, don't make content saying something is a non-story. What is even the point of that? Right. Well, I guess one of the points is to shame people that talk about it, which I think is a little, uh, that's not great. All right. So, uh, uh, but I actually did very much appreciated OGGM's coverage of it just cause it was very timely and I was looking for content on this. So it was me, it was OGGM, no, not one. He's the biggest pathfinder YouTuber around, right? Which means he's got 200 subs. Now, okay. He's got more than that, but like, like it's almost like an oxymoron to say big and Pathfinder at the same time because like, it's so small and dying and shrinking and desiccating and shaming itself for 5e, for making 5e content, you know, rather than standing on its own and saying, hey, Pathfinder's good enough. We don't have to make 5e like some kind of garage shop, right? But they do need to make uh, 5e content because they can't stand on their own content. Which is uh, really a sh well, it's it it is a shame aspect for them. All right, I'll go, I'll go stop. All right, okay, all right. So so basically, um, and then so there was no nat one, and uh, Grim Jim did some content on this, right? So a lot of people were speaking up on that, and on Twitter, no less than a hundred D and D commentators uh, commented on this, easily hundred, maybe a thousand. Right? Like, this was huge on Twitter, right? All right, so there's a lot of content here. So what happened? Okay, so here we go. Okay. Post Malone gets a tattoo. That's step one, okay? He gets it from a guy who goes on you on uh, Twitter by Nerdy Tattooer, and I'm gonna refer to him as Nerdy Tattooer. He is Post Malone's tattoo guy. You know what, maybe not, that's the important part. I'm just gonna refer to him as Post Malone's tattoo guy. And actually, I should say, one of Post Malone's tattoo guy. Going for, that is correct, but I'm just for brevity's sake, I'm gonna say Post Malone's tattoo guy. All right. Post Malone gets a tattoo from his tattoo guy, okay? Then, Jameson Stone, actually, forget that, okay, forget Jameson Stone for a minute. Then, Satine Phoenix, that's the important part, nobody would care about this if it was Jameson Stone, because nobody cares about Jameson Stone, okay? Like, Jameson Stone is, like, a very non-important name. He's highly involved in this, in this situation, but this would not be a story if it wasn't for Satine Phoenix. This is only a story because three things are connected to it. Dungeons and Dragons, Post Malone, and Satine Phoenix. It's extremely important to understand that if this had happened with just Jameson Stone, you would have never heard about it, ever, right? Jameson Stone ain't got enough juice for anybody to care. People are caring about this because Satine Phoenix is connected to it, because Dungeons and Dragons is connected to it, 
And because Post Malone is connected to it, and Post Malone is not tangentially connected, he is very connected to Dungeons and Dragons. We're gonna get there, okay? All right, so first of all, so let's get there, okay? So, so Satine Phoenix and Jameson Stone together go to Post Malone's, uh, Post Malone's uh, tattoo guy, okay? Uh, and say, give us a tattoo, right? We each want a tattoo from you, right? And we're, we're coming at you together, right, for this deal. And we want Post Malone's contract, the contract you gave him for his, uh, you know, for his tattoo. So, uh, so Post, Malone, Post Malone's tattoo guy sends him the contract. Satine Phoenix, from what I read, was like, great, thanks, appreciate it. Uh, ready to get, the, you know, start getting your ink ready, right? Your ink and needles ready. But Jameson Stone, right, goes... Hey, I'm a big jerk, and I'm going to punch down and treat you terrible. Now, wait for a whole bunch of aggressive speech, and I'm going to treat you like absolute trash. And he does. He absolutely goes off and just does a horrible, horrible job of this. Now, who's Jameson Stone? Well, he is a no-name TTPRG uh, um, creator. He's made some stuff, Apotheosis Studios. And he got a bunch of, like, like little scrub, like... Um, I think I think he may I think mostly he's created like adventures and things like that, but like nobody knows like this guy's name. Jameson Stone is nothing in in the D and D in the D and D sphere in the D and D community. Completely forgettable non entity. Okay, but you know who is famous? Satine Phoenix. Guess what? Jameson Stone is. No one I've heard talk about this has said this. No one has said this. Jameson Stone is Satine Phoenix's husband. They are married, and they were married in March 2022, right? That's a big deal, right? So what really should have been carried here was, here's the real story. Satine Phoenix's husband is a complete jerk to Post Malone's tattoo guy, right? That's the story, and his, and so, and by the way, oh, and the reason we know this, right, and here's here's this is pretty incredible. So Jameson Stone on the on these texts to nerdy art, to the nerdy tattooer guy is absolutely horrible. So horrible that the nerdy tattoo guy comes out and says, uh, you know, Post Malone's tattoo two guy goes says, I'm outing Jameson Stone and Satine's Phoenix business communication with me on my phone. I'm going to take screen caps of it and make it public. Now this is the ironic part. No question undeniable. In fact, Jameson Stone admits it, right? That he was an absolute hor horrible monster jerk to Post Malone's nerd, nerd, uh, Post Malone's tattoo guy. That's unquestionable. That's, that's, let's take that as fact, right? Jameson Stone was an absolute horrible jerk. He, even he says that, right? Right. And, but one of the things, one thing, there's a lot of stuff that people just did not say right in this, right? So one of the things he said that he said to uh, Post Malone's uh, that I thought this was again I want to say things that other people aren't saying about this right I want I don't want to just squawk and you know I don't want to give you a twenty minute video saying this isn't important and then talk about it for twenty minutes literally proving with my actions that it's important like OGGM did <laughs> okay I love that guy's content but it, man is he wrong a lot in my opinion all right okay so so basically here's here's what happens okay so. What's really ironic is Jameson Stone said, hey, Post Malone's tattoo guy, you're incredibly unprofessional. What's really ironic is he turned out to be, Jameson Stone turned out to be 100% right. I think it's outrageously unprofessional of Post Malone's tattoo guy to go, I didn't like the way I was treated in this contract and this one deal went wrong, so I'm going to out all of our business, our one-to-one our -one business communication publicly and show the world that you're both monsters. That seems outrageously unprofessional to me, exactly like Jameson Stone actually said to him. The problem is, Jameson Stone did not say it in a professional way. He said it in the most arrogant, horrible, terrible monster jerk method you could do. Like, he just was incredibly condescending to him, and, you know, like, like punching down. It was, it was a mess, right? Like, Jameson Stone was an absolute horrible monster jerk in this whole thing. That's unquestionable. Satine, and here's the here, like here's the real kicker. Satine's Phoenix's husband was an absolute monster jerk to a tattooer, and both of them are heavy into the tattoo scene. And guess what? There are a lot of D and D people who are heavy into the ta ta into the tattoo scene. And guess what? 
guess who's one of the most famous tattooed people in the world right now? Post Malone. He's huge. He is bigger than Dungeons and Dragons right now. I hate saying that. By the way, I saw Post Malone live in 2019 at the at his um, show at Madison Square Garden in uh, Madison Square Garden. I'm a huge fan of Post Malone. I really love his music. Um, and get this, he is directly connected to Dungeons and Dragons. How? Right? Post Malone plays Magic the Gathering and not at a low level, like has spent hundreds of thousands, if not millions on the game, okay? And he and he goes on to like shows and plays the new sets. He is hugely into Magic the Gathering. Guess what he played? He played a Strixhaven. He played the, um, the Forgotten Realms set and he played the Baldur Gate set. And guess what? If you're not aware, Magic the Gathering is making direct canon cards. He's, they're making direct... Magic the Gathering is making direct canon in Dungeons and Dragons with Magic the Gathering cards. You don't know it. You're behind. The whole world is behind and doesn't understand that canon is now coming from miniatures, from books, from cards, and there are three Dungeons and Dragons Magic the Gathering sets, all of which Post Malone has played. Post Malone is is a Dungeons and Dragons celebrity, period, end of sentence, okay? And there's gonna be tons of ignorant D&D commentators out there who don't understand the importance of the official canon Dungeons and Dragons sets and that they're actually establishing canon, right, in there, and I don't have time to explain that, it's, I've, I've done it in previous videos, right? So all that is important and you need to understand that, that okay? This is all incredibly important to Dungeons and Dragons. It's not just Satine Phoenix getting a tattoo, right? Satine Phoenix, who made her bones after she let she she became a new type of celebrity after she was an adult. Dungeons and Dragons allowed Satine Phoenix to move beyond her adult entertainment celebrity. She became a Dungeons and Dragons subject matter expert, a Dungeons and Dragons celebrity. The same as Stephen Colbert, the same as Vin Diesel, these are all D&D. The same as Robin Williams, these are all Dungeons and Dragons celebrities. Satine Phoenix is a Dungeons and Dragons celebrity. And it's highly likely that the tattoo she was getting was literally Dungeons and Dragons related, if not directly, then, then certainly indirectly, right? And same with Jameson Stone, her husband, right? So they were, you know, and the reality, so this is very, actually very connected to Dungeons & Dragons. Post Malone is connected to Dungeons & Dragons. Satine Phoenix is connected to Dungeons & Dragons. Jameson Stone is connected to Dungeons & Dragons. Nobody cares about Jameson Stone. Nobody really knows Jameson Stone, but he is Satine Phoenix's husband. That's the important part. So the important part here is uh, Satine Phoenix brings shame to Dungeons & Dragons by her husband being outrageously rude to Post Malone, a D and D celebrity, and her, a D and D celebrity, she brings a lot of shame because her husband is pub it has been shown to publicly to be a horrible jerk monster over something that is directly connected to D and D, and it's almost a certainty. Actually, we already know this, right? <laughs> Jameson Stone's a tattoo was his player character, literally his D and D player character. So, like that, that shows you where we're, where we land. Right, so this is all connected to Dungeons and Dragons. It's all incredibly relevant, right? And Satine Phoenix's actions, right, are connect. Satine Phoenix made a relationship with someone whose behavior brought shame to Dungeons and Dragons, because Jameson Stone and Satine Phoenix are dungeon masters, and they are both connected to Post Malone, right? And Post Malone is connected to Dungeons and Dragons, and all of this brought shame to Dungeons and Dragons. It is highly relevant, okay? Highly important, and there's a lot here. And so the so th this entire video was just kind of say, yes, this matters, and you should be paying attention to it, and there's a lot here. So I just wanted to explain what happened. If I got any of those facts wrong, please correct me in the, in the comments below. That's all to the best of my knowledge, and this is incredibly relevant to what's happening with Dungeons and Dragons today, and absolutely, without a doubt, impacts your table today if you play real Dungeons and Dragons, OSR Dungeons and Dragons, which is Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Okay, the, uh, nothing carries Gary's legacy better than Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. If you care about old school, if you care about Dungeons and Dragons, if you care about Gary Gygax, then you care about what tattoos Satine Phoenix chooses to get or not to get, and which ones her husband gets.
That's my opinion. What's yours? Uh, love to hear it in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.